everybody. In today's video we're going to have a look at the Cold Steel Lucky. Now, this is a pocket knife that I traded for with my good friend Chad, the fat man. I sent him a little Portuguese knife and told him to choose what he wanted to send as a trade. Now he has gone significantly over the agreed budget for this trade which I'm not complaining about. I'm very happy with my end of the bargain and just hope that he's still happy with his. So, Cold Steel Lucky, a trade knife from my friend the Fat Man. Let's have a look. Okay, so this is how the knife comes. Quite clear what model you're buying. Cold Steel Lucky, slide out tray. with the uh, silica gel capsule so it comes in quite a heavy johnny bag and then we've got a silky sack well more of a velvety sack very nice slide out the knife cold steel lucky so what exactly have we got well We've got carbon fibre scales, we've got two blades, both slip joint, in S35 V and steel, both 2mm thick. One blade is a plain edge and one blade is a serrated edge. Nail nicks on one side only and the blades appear to be hollow ground. Got half stops and we've got a simple pocket clip on the back. Two back springs. Very nicely done. We'll just give you uh, a few specs. The closed length is three and a quarter inches and the blades are both two and five eighths. So for size comparison, we've got the Victorian Ox Spartan, and you can see we're just a little bit smaller than the Spartan, but still very much in the same ballpark. The knife weighs 1.4 ounces, which is about 40 grams, I would imagine. It's a lovely little knife. The only negative for me is the pocket clip. Now I don't particularly like pocket clips on small knives. Uh, I have tried carrying this with the clip and it just gets in the way. I would just let this drop to the bottom of the pocket. It's uh, not too big for that, it's not too heavy for that. And also on the pocket clip, this tip does stick up quite a bit. And it is a bit of a pain when it's in your pocket, just annoying. So we've got some lovely carbon fibre, good steel, UK legal, very important point. One thing though, I know this has been used and carried, we've got a nice snap on the plain blade, but it's not really there on the serrated. And I'm wondering if it might need a bit of a clean inside. So what I'm going to do, I thought, is I'd take the pocket clip off. And, because uh, I was going to do that anyway, for carrying. And also see if we can give it a bit of a clean out. So this could all go horribly wrong. First thing we've got to do is work out if I've got a Torx bit small enough. So I'm not honestly sure I have actually. See that's fucking huge. Brrr. Ah, we're in, we're okay. So we'll bob that in the handle. And that is does it say anywhere? It's a six. 
So, where's that off? Pocket clips out. Now, let's see. Shall we strip it? Yeah, why not? Let's strip it. Just put the screw there. Bunch of Loctite in that one. Oh, that's not going to be a problem getting it back together. So. Is that going to pop off? Hmm, no. Seems to be the answer. Hmm. There we go. There is a little bit of gunk. Not a massive amount. Oh. I appear to have just knackered the washer. Or perhaps the washer was already knackered and that's why it wouldn't um, snap. I'm just going to put you on pause for a minute while well, I just give it a bit of a clean up. Alright well that was a bit more of a faff than I expected but I think we're getting there now so I'm just going to blob a little bit of this Victorian Ox oil on there. and see if we can get it back together. <laughs> right, so far so good. Never make a watchmaker, would I? Oh no! Right, we've done it, we're back together. Um, I found out though why the centre screws were loctited in. On this side, the clip scale, the hole here in the liner doesn't line up with the threaded barrel in the frame. As you can see, it's not sat level. So the scale locates over these two tubes, but the holes misalign there. So I shall have to glue that back in myself. But we have got the snap restored now on both sides. So that is a lovely, lovely little pocket knife. Quite modern. But uh, good steel, nice design, nice size. A very nice trade with my mate, the fat man. So thank you Chad, 
and thanks for watching.